The business sector remains under pressure. The June data doesn't provide a clear picture, although the index has moved marginally up since the beginning of the year. The outlook isn't that good. It's on the margin between positive and negative. You know, that's the 50 being the overall index. Some of it being the negative. I mean, if you look at trade volumes and, and, and new orders, it hasn't been that good. Consumers and smaller businesses are also feeling the pinch. The Economic Transaction Index, which measures smaller bank transactions, was flat in January, measuring an increase of just 0.3 percent. This economy is in hospital. It's a, sp it's a patient in hospital. It is not dying, perhaps, but it's not getting better either. The official view is also very downbeat. The GDP data emerging from ourselves uh, through Stats South Africa and indeed the IMF as well is indicating uh, the first quarter co contraction. We're a little bit more optimistic about the second quarter. The challenge, though, is matching the country's population growth rate with that of the GDP growth rate. South Africa's population is growing at around 1.7%. And if South Africa's economy does not grow with that rate, then we get poorer. And we've already had two years of below 1.7% growth. All eyes have been on the finance minister to galvanize the country. I think, you know, uh, if it, it, it all depends, you know, what success we have with, in terms of policy and how the movement of Minister Gordon is actually convincing the rest of the government and those people actually to really move on positive issues. The two sets of data point to an economy that's in trouble and it's going to take at least 12 to 18 months before anything changes. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Pretoria, South Africa.